Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install the current NetBeans version that is NetBeans 13. With that, uh, a prerequisite to install NetBeans is Java. So we will also download and install Java 18. Let's first begin with download and installing Java. Then we will install NetBeans ID. After that, we will also run a sample project, a sample Java project on NetBeans. Let's begin with the download and installation of Java 18. Let's start. At first, go to the browser. I'm using Chrome. You can use any browser on Google type Oracle Java. Press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible oracle.com. Click on it to open. On opening on the right itself on the official website, you can see download Java. Click on it. After clicking here and you can see Java 18 is available now. So this is what we want for Windows. I'll go below. Here it is Java 18. Now Linux, Mac and Windows for all three platforms, the Java 18 version is visible. We want for Windows, I'll click here. On clicking, now you can see the, now you can see three files are visible to download. We will go for the installer x64, that means for 64 bit Windows 10. Click on this file to download. On clicking the download will start here and you can see 153 MB only. Let's wait for a few seconds. So here in guys, you can see we have successfully downloaded the Java 18, the JDK 18 exe file. Remember that for Java, we only need JDK now. We don't need to install JRE separately because this installation includes JRE also. So I'll just double click on it to install. Minimize this. Guys, the installation started. Now let us click on next. After clicking next, here you can see it will create a Java directory in program files and the installation will go inside it. The installation files will go inside it. You can change the location from here, but the default is fine. Click on next. The installation started now. So guys, we have successfully installed it. Click on close. Now let us see wherein we have installed Java. Remember it was in C drive program files. Here is Java. Inside JDK 18, I told you it will get installed here. Now here in go to bin. Right click and copy this path. Now minimize. Go to start. Type environment variables. Here and click on edit the system environment variables. The first one click on open. Click on environment variables from here. Here in under system variables, the path is visible. We will set the path now. Double click on it. Click on new and just, just right click and paste the same path. So we pasted the following path. Now guys, click on OK. Now here in I'll also create another path that is new. That is click on new. This will be java underscore home path. Here and paste the same variable value that is the path but remove the bin here. That's it. Click on OK. We have set two paths. Click on OK and click on the last OK. That's it. We have successfully installed java. So guys we successfully installed java. Let us verify the installation. Go to start. Type cmd. Click on open to open the command prompt. Now guys type java space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. On pressing enter you can see java 18 is visible. This is visible that means we have successfully installed java 18. Now guys let us close this. Open google chrome. We will now download and install netbeans 13. Type netbeans and press enter. On pressing enter the official website is visible apache.org. Apache owns netbeans here it is. Here you can see Apache NetBeans 13 is visible. Click on download. Here are the installers for Windows, Linux and Mac. We want for Windows so I'll directly click here. After clicking the different mirrors are visible. I'll click on the first one to download the exe file of NetBeans 13. Now the download started. It's 427 MB. Let's wait for a few minutes. So guys Apache NetBeans exe file downloaded. Double click on it to install. Minimize this. Now 
so guys the installer started apache netbeans 13 it will take 780 mb the following will get installed if you want to customize you can click here on customizing you can select or unselect any of these options i'll keep the default click on okay now click on next here is the license agreement you can read it and click on i accept click on next again now here you can see it automatically directed that we installed jdk that is java jdk 18 it automatically took the path that's why installing java is a prerequisite to install netbeans here you can see that under the following location our netbeans 13 will get installed if you want to change the location you can click on browse but the default is fine click on next here in summary is visible click on install now the installation started guys the installation completed click on finish you can see the desktop shortcut got created when i'll go to start here you can see a patch and netbeans is visible or you can directly type netbeans and you can see the current version is visible you can click on open here i'll directly click on the shortcut to open apache netbeans 13 here you can see it started now let us see how we can run our first java program on netbeans id for that go to file click on new project after clicking all the options for project are visible since we want a basic project in java we will create it with java with maven click on java application and directly click next here now here you can see the project name it is asking let me add amit project here the path is the following that is your new java project will get created here okay here in you can add the group id or name company name let's say okay this will automatically create your package also you can see below it created the project it created the package now let us click on finish here it is guys you can see it created amit project and within that and within that it created the amit project file if you want to add a new class file you can right click on the source package and click on java class here okay now what i'll do i'll this is the hello world program i'll directly run it quickly click on run project so i ran it So guys here you can see build success we have successfully printed hello world now we can change it to let's say i'll just change it to amit things okay now save all and run it so guys you can see we printed amit things text also so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install the current netbeans version with that we also saw how we can run our first java project on netbeans 13 so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things